My friends, so this is a bonus segment of our dashboard showcase and makeover. This is the report we're going to review. This was sent in by Akash, and we missed covering it in our regular session. So, hey, I figured I would do it now. All right, Akash, so first of all, thank you so much for sending this in. Uh, folks, if you have never heard of Dashboard Showcase and Makeover, just go to learnpowerbi.com slash dashboard. And the idea behind this is this simple statement that in this day and age, you can't hope to succeed by just doing good work. You got to do good work, but you got to tell great stories. So this is our platform for our students and for our YouTube followers to get that chance, get that opportunity. And because we don't want people to wait for the perfect story, we want them to start telling the stories so they can make them perfect. All right, so again, Akash, kudos for sending this in. And I will say, boy, there is a lot going on in this report. So clearly, you're not, you're not, yeah, you've, you've been around the block with Power BI. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff here. But again, we're going to evaluate it more from the dashboard visualization perspective. Uh, so let's, uh, so he has a lot. I'm not, I'm not sure. I may or may not cover all of it, but I will give you guys a tour of what he has. So he has starts off with this main page and main results and it seems um, uh, slicers that you can, uh, I'm assuming that these are kind of synced slicer that you can set this and then apply to all other pages which is a smart way to do it. And right on this page, it's it's nice that he, he puts some numbers there and which is good because you can see the impact kind of right away. And yeah, it's, it's less boring, not, not just a navigation page. Uh, but that, you know, so it starts with a landing page and has some instructions on here. So really well done, a lot of bookmarks and all this stuff. Uh, so this is great. This is well designed. You click go and then you, it takes you to the overview page. And then, of course, there is this country customer product analysis and maybe my favorite simulator, which is basically a what if analysis. Uh, so I think from the dashboard design perspective, I'll just stick on this one. Uh, and I think generally that may apply to others. Uh, so again, let's start with a squint test. So I'm going to half close my eyes and see what pops out at me. And actually, this one is really tough. And I think the, uh, oddly enough, the bottom elements are popping out, which is odd because generally, the the uh, when we look at the screen at our dashboard, then um, then it's it's the top left that's higher priority, and because generally we scan from the top left and we go left to right, top to bottom. But I think this one stands out in the squint test because you just, again, the blue, the contrast of blue against red, and there's a lot of color pixel, there's a lot of color filled in here. Uh, so that stands out. Um, and again, I, I don't suspect that's by design. Usually people don't wanna, right? I mean, usually, uh, right, the stuff at the top is more important, so you may wanna consider that. So that's a squint test. Let's look at the anatomy of the dashboard. So you've seen my Power BI uh, power pattern. And we start off with kind of high-level numbers, uh, show some breakdowns, show some trends, and a little bit of detail. That's how I like to do things. So if you go back to this one, it definitely has the high-level numbers. It has uh, breakdowns. It has trends here, trends here, trends here. So yeah, things are looking good. Uh, yep, so I think it's got definitely kind of the right elements there. Uh, maybe some of the things that can be improved. So if you kind of put on our our Stephen Few hat is, of course, uh, we always talk about data pixels versus non-data pixels. And the goal is to minimize the non-data pixel. Uh, start with the background. So you can have like a dark background, a colored background, but it, it, you also have a grading. Like it starts off in this shade and changes to this shade. Um, that is not efficient as far as data pixel and non-data pixel are concerned. So see if you can just use one flat background not not have this gradient because again we don't we don't want that tension there we want the tension on the data uh, so again just keep looking at it from the lens so so this uh, this background uh, this border is non data pixel I think there's a little bit of a shadow I think this does have shadow effect shadow that is non data pixel uh, these ones are colored in with a different color I think that is non data pixel. Uh, so yeah, so look at these elements and and you be the judge, right? So again, you can try it. You can just try say, okay, what would it look like if I did eliminate or minimize some of these non-data pixels and just see if it works, right? So and again, if it doesn't work, maybe bring some of, some of it back. But again, if you can't eliminate it, then minimize it, right? So um, uh, yeah, right? So, you know, yeah, try, try a more gentle approach. 
So you can try that, that um, uh, see how that works. Let's see if there is anything else. Man, I mean, it's a good looking dashboard, gosh. And actually, you, you know, somebody may argue, <laughs> like Steam Tree may argue, like these are not a pixel, but I think that's really working for me. And actually, I don't know, I may borrow that tip from me. I mean, somehow just putting that icon there, it, it, it's, it's working for me. I, I think that's, that's a, that, yeah, that's really awesome. And I can see how you're using it consistently, even in the tool tip. Gosh, that's phenomenal. So folks here, I'll wait for the tool tip. Yeah, the, the same icon total sale that always has that. Uh, so that's really, really effective. Let me see uh, what else uh, can I add feedback on. Mm, yeah, so I think uh, certainly the squint test, I mean, usually you want the first thing for them to pay attention is to the high level numbers. So you may want to do something to make that kind of stand out a bit because right now it's, it's, it's not. Yeah, even though it's at the top, even though it's bold, uh, maybe tone down these colors, right? So sometimes I joke that my dashboards are like 50 shades of gray or, you know, they're like, yeah, they're not yeah, yeah. So you know, you can use kind of gentler colors, gentler contrast. Right now, the contrast between red and blue is so bright that it's just drawing the eye uh, to these elements because they're using a lot of ink. And again, sometimes I think of dashboard design as that I have to pay for every pixel, and the brighter the pixel is, the more I have to pay for it. So how would you spend your money? Would you really spend your ink? Like I mean, this, this deep blue and this red, this contrast. So yeah, so you can think about it that way. So I think this one definitely we can do. We should do something to shine. Another thing you may or may not want to do is that uh, are they all apples or are, it, it, it basically group them, right? So so total sales, gross margin, gross margin percentage. Maybe maybe make that one block and then total cost and total returns in one block. You, you can think about that. You can think about how you want them to see and navigate that. But yeah, good stuff. Boy, actually great stuff. Man, this is, yeah, quite stunning, quite stunning. Uh, so there are other other tabs here that you can click and I'm just gonna show that to the audience, but uh, uh, I'm not gonna necessarily um, comment on each one, but <laughs> except saying that, man, really good stuff yeah i mean I, I checked out all these pages and and yeah they're they're pretty phenomenal so i'll wait for this to load yeah i could just this graph uh this can be a very effective graph can convey a lot of information like the low points high points that sort of stuff so that's good stuff let's look at customers really quick a lot of deep analysis this analysis new customer lost customer it's yeah it's it's sophisticated it's not something you start off with but uh yeah, quite powerful. Uh, great. I'm not going to click on every tab. So let's just go to the last tab, which is the simulator, which is the what if analysis. Again, not not a beginner technique, but really powerful technique. I mean, it's not that hard to do it in in, in Power BI. It's certainly far easier than uh, any old school approach. But um, yeah, I mean, you can you can have the projected sales and total sales by month and year, and there are these levers to play with quantity, orders, cost, price. Like, hey, what if my quantity grew by, you know, five percent, and and so forth. So yeah, that's that's good work. So cool. Hopefully that helped. And again, folks, if you would like to join us, if you would like to start telling your story and make it perfect, then just go to learnpowerbi.com/dashboard and join us. We run this every single month. Yeah, and I'll see you next time. Power on.